guys, Demo here at Perfect Gaming Guides bringing you another 100% walkthrough to get a really easy and quick 1000 gamer score. Today we're playing Gang Beast which is a quirky little slapstick fighting game and is currently available on Xbox Game Pass. You can get all 19 achievements for a total 1000 gamer score in just around 25 minutes. The final achievement is definitely the hardest one so that might take a little bit longer but the rest are pretty easy so let's jump straight in and get our first achievement. So we want to go into costumes and click edit and we can add hats or glasses or whatever. Easiest thing to do, go up to random, press A to select that and pop. Up comes your first achievement guys, easy as that, welcome to Beef City. If you want to customise your character, just change it to however you want it to look. Come back out to the main menu and now we go up to local so that we can start working on the rest of our achievements. So the game mode here we want to make sure that that's at melee and we want to change wins to the maximum of 8. That means that you'll get 8 attempts before the game kicks you back into the main menu and we are going to select the stage as grind. Then back up to the top and start. So in this achievement what we're trying to do is get ourselves into the grinder and be able to jump back out so we're using the A button so we we'll just kind of hop into that grinder and try not get totally stuck in it but just get caught up in it enough that you can get back out so kind of work your way into the middle and then just mash that A button just to jump back out Cut pops our achievement safety warning Victory dance. Yay! <laughs> so the next one we're going to go into is girders. <laughs> and this one's super easy as well. Sometimes when you spawn in this one guys you've got that platform above where I am and you need to come down the stairs or jump down. You simply just need to run and jump using A and jump into the orange tube. Bucket list achievement job done. That's those three achievements in already guys. And we're going to go down and we are going to change to incinerator. In this one we're going to learn how to use the other controls in the game because there's a bit of climbing that you need to do and you also need to do a bit of fighting later on as well. So we use the left bumper and the right bumper to hold on to things. So right bumper I'm using to hold on with my right hand then my left hand with the left bumper and in between times you press and hold the A button and that will pull you up. So we will punch, left bumper, right bumper. The X button is kick. B button is headbutt. A button is jump. And the Y button is lift when he puts his arms up like that. So that when you grab onto something and you press Y. That will lift it up into the air, which we'll use quite a bit later on. So here, what we're trying to do is put ourselves in danger of this incinerator and then be able to climb back out. Maggie. You can actually do this um, in one of the later rounds that we're in, because we'll, we'll come back to this um, incinerator map but this is kind of easier doing it this way when you've not got any opponents trying to, try to murder you at the time basically. So if you're just doing it solo, you can kind of relax a bit. 
So you just need to jump down there, get yourself close to the flames and then pull yourself back out. So the first time that I've done that, it's not popped. Takes a second attempt, so try to get that railing out of the way a wee bit. Lost my mind there, started headbutting things. Yep, so try again, jump. Oh, and I came close to dying there, to be honest. Um, so holding on with the RB and LB and RB, and just gradually pulling my way back out, guys, and pressing the A button to jump out. And the achievement should pop. And there it goes. Roast beef. Cool. So the next level that we're going to go to is Boy or Buoy if you're in the US guys. Two achievements on this one guys. First one is you need to jump into the water and be able to climb back out. So in my first couple of attempts here I've not jumped fully in the water so it doesn't pop to get into the water and not be touching the ice at all and a couple of first attempts that I've tried there I've sort of landed half on the ice with my arm so you need to totally go in the water not be touching the ice at all and then sort of struggle back and when you're first starting to get used to the controls in this guys it's it's not easy the controls are a bit weird in this game take a bit of getting used to so you might struggle a little bit with that just kind of getting used to it but once you get it it's it's actually pretty easy so that's me fully in the water this time and i start pulling myself out and i've left this one in because ironically it popped Die. <laughs> and the second achievement here guys is a bit of climbing so we need to jump across and we pull ourselves up so it's using the left bumper and then press A to pull ourselves up and then the right bumper to press A pull ourselves up and just keep on gradually doing that left pull yourself up right pull yourself up and then eventually what you want to try and aim for this is the easiest way to do it if you can aim that you can kind of grab onto that sort of antenna thing that's poking up from the top if you can grab onto that you can use that to pull yourself up a bit easier so you get up there and the achievement pops Oh boy! Awesome! And then we change to the trucks stage. This one's got three achievements guys. This one's quite cool actually, I like this one. Dancing. <laughs> so our first first achievement is just basically get inside the container of the truck, and you can just do that by hanging onto one of those those doors, just using the left and right bumpers, and just let the door swing you back in, and you just let go so that you can drop into the back of the truck. The next one, we want to try and climb back up onto the roof of the truck, and you need to be careful, obviously, with those road signs that we're going under. Okay, anytime that you see this, that's the next one, keeping up, keep on trucking, achievement.
whenever both the road signs are theirs, because quite often when one of them is missing, guys, and that's one of the achievements, you need to jump through that. When both are there, you just go to the cab of the <laughs> truck and you lie down, and you do that by pressing the B button. Just press and hold the B button, and that will crouch down. Bit more dancing. Woohoo! Crouch down. Back up onto the roof. And we can see that the right side is missing this time. We just want to time it and jump so that we can get through it. And we can see on the left side it's missing this time, so we jump across onto the next truck. And we use A to jump again. And it's on the same side again this time, so. Time and jump. Boom! That's the next achievement, guys. Woohoo! Stonk! Next stage that we're going to do, guys, is containers. So, two achievements on this one. First achievement is pretty similar to the trucks one in that you just need to get inside the container. And again, you can just use your LB, RB buttons just to grab on and gradually work your way down and then just try and swing your way in. Pull yourself up and that's our first achievement. <laughs> so the next achievement is we need to destroy the container so or get the container to drop into the water and the way we do that is we destroy the ropes that are holding it up so if we just go up close to one of the corners and we headbutt it and then the other rope on the same corner or <laughs> on the same side sorry we headbutt it a couple of times, then we use our LB, RB just to climb up and then we kick the rope using our X button and eventually it'll drop. Mm -hmm. But if you do those a couple of headbutts before you climb up guys, that weakens it and makes it much easier. As long as you hold on to that bit up the top long enough before you fall, the achievement will drop. <laughs> Next one we're going to go for is elevators and it's pretty similar in that we've got cables to destroy again and we need to hold on. So again we just headbutt the first one, snap it and that's that one done and then the second one we headbutt it maybe twice, three times and then climb using our LBRB and then we can just kick using our X button and we just need to make sure that we hold on when this snaps guys we hold on long enough for the achievement to drop so I kind of gave up there because I was thinking I don't think I'm up high enough there so I need to climb up the rope a bit further. There we go, a bit higher up this time and smash that X button to kick it. Achievement pops, ground floor, cool. We're blitzing through these. Maggie. Whee! And now we're going to go to Gondola, guys. <laughs> gondola is similar to the other ones and in that we need to get the gondola to drop, but this one is actually a bit harder, guys. We need to snap all four ropes. <laughs> so we do those two first and we just make sure that we're using our LBRB to hold on 
and you climb up a bit and you can use your Y button to pull yourself up here up and head button. smashing away at that and eventually it will snap. So we need to turn into Spider-Man here and climb our way up to that final rope and also we need to make sure that we don't drop with it guys. But if you manage to get up onto that yellow bit, that's like the, the metal frame above where I am, that's the kind of best position you can get to. Maggie. So we climb up the rope, try and grab onto the yellow bit above the rope, like that, and then we can just start kicking away at the rope. Keep climbing back up there and keep working away at this. Back up, see if we can hold on to that yellow bit if possible. Maggie. Kick that away a few times and down it goes. Bang tough achievement, 75 points guys. So the next stage that we're going to go to is towers. This one, we run down the stairs, we get to the bottom of the third set of stairs and the staircase will start to collapse. We turn and run back up, pressing and holding the A button. And then we jump there and hold on to the bricks of the building and we pull ourselves back up using LBRB and the A. And easy peasy. Step down. Achievement complete. Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! This is us back to Incinerator guys and we are changing the game type to Waves. Now we're going to have two AI guys fighting us here and we need to defeat both of them. They're pretty brutal it has to be said. So you just need to complete one wave here guys so you need to get rid of two of them. So I've actually achieved the drop kick there and that one's fairly simple so you just kind of need to Keep running at them and pressing your A button to jump and then X while you're in midair. And if you connect with them with a kick, then you get that achievement just like I did there. But the aim of the game here is basically grab grab the guys and get them in the incinerator. As soon as you grab a hold of them, you press the Y button and you can lift them up. That guy's tried to get me and he's fallen in himself. Use your LB and RB to grab them and press the Y button to lift them. Once you've got them up off the ground, you can just drag them across and try and throw them in and then boom, chuck them in the incinerator. Next one is football and you need two controllers or a friend to help you with this one. So we change the mode to football, the stage will be alley and we'll go two minutes, short as we can make it.
So the first achievement that we're going to try and get here guys is to do the flying headbutt because it's pretty difficult. So I've tried that for two minutes solid and I did connect as you've seen and it's really quite picky as to what, what counts as a headbutt. But you just keep plugging away at that. Once the timer runs out, if it's still 0-0, zero, zero, it will go to golden goal and you've got as much time as it takes for you to get the headbutt. There it pops. Once you've done that, score a goal and then you win the game without conceding a goal and that pops the shutout achievement as well. Just one more achievement to go now guys. So we set the stage to ring, we set the number of wins to 8 and is melee. Okay, so final achievement guys, the sit down achievement, which most people consider to be the hardest one in the game. I'm going to show you a really easy way of getting it and all you need to do is climb up onto this corner post of the ring. So just jump up, take a run at it, jump up using A, try and balance as close to the corner as you can using the, your left stick. Just push over to the right and jump, make a jump for it. And if you make it over that railing, it pops the achievement. Might take you a few attempts to get this, guys, but that I have found that this is definitely the easiest way of doing this. If you're having problems with any of the achievements, guys, just post comments and I'll help you out best I can. That's all achievements done, guys, all 19 achievements. 1,000 gamer score. I hope that's been useful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a fun game. It takes a bit of getting used to the controls, as I said, and some real funny moments can happen in it. So enjoy, guys, and hopefully see you again. Please remember to like the video, guys. I appreciate that. And if you'd subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. I'll hopefully see you again in the next one. Peace.